I'm Keith Olbermann, and this is The Resistance. The future ex-president of the United States of America is unstable. That is not my opinion. That is not the media's opinion. That is America's opinion. In a new poll. A poll not by fake news, but by Fox News. Question 24. Fox News Anderson Robbins Shaw poll registered voters August 27 to 29. How well do you think each of the following words or phrases describe Donald Trump? And there it is, coming up with the third highest overall score behind says what he thinks and bully, quote, unstable, unquote. 33% of respondents say the word unstable describes him extremely well. 11% of respondents say the word unstable describes him very well. 16% of respondents say the word unstable describes him somewhat well. That's 60% of respondents agreeing he's unstable. And this is not the result of some sort of either-or choice, by the way. They were given a list of terms, like presidential, which 56% of the same people told Fox News does not describe Trump at all. But six out of ten Americans reading that list think he's unstable. Six out of ten. In a poll that this year has skewed about five points in Trump's favor that had his approval at 41 when Gallup had it at 35. Unstable. So why isn't this point being debated publicly every day? Why is there no cable news show called, Is the President Unstable? When a president was being impeached after an extramarital affair, they made me do a show called White House in Crisis every night. 228 consecutive programs. I still have the scars. All the networks loaded up on supposed legal experts, most of whom had never met the president, nor his accusers, nor the others involved, nor his political opponents, but who talked about his legal case 24 hours a day. Right now, Trump's policies on North Korea and China are being debated constantly by people who know no leaders in either country. His wall is being debated by people who know nothing of immigration or the plight of the dreamers or the deported. His actions against people of color and women and LGBTQ and every other group are being debated on television by a panel usually made up of only straight white guys. Six out of ten Americans believe Trump is unstable, and 44% said he was very or extremely unstable in a Fox poll, and this does not get debated, and this does not get its own show, and this does not get its own 24-hour political debate network. Bob Corker, the Republican senator from Tennessee, said Trump, quote, has not yet been able to demonstrate the stability, which is a milquetoast way of calling him unstable. Duncan Hunter, the Republican congressman and Trump's supporter from San Diego, reportedly told the young Republicans there, quote, he's just like he is on TV. He's an asshole, but he's our asshole, unquote. Last Friday, we learned Trump was weird enough or odd enough, or maybe the phrase I want here is unstable enough, to have reportedly drafted a letter firing James Comey because Comey would not clear Trump on Russia, and thus he left Literally, an impeachable obstruction of justice paper trail. In the last week, Trump himself made sure he attacked the media while pretending to comfort those affected by Hurricane Harvey. And then he made sure he attacked Hillary Clinton right after he got back to the White House from pretending to comfort those affected by Hurricane Harvey. And he had already explained he had pardoned Joe Arpaio during Hurricane Harvey because he thought the TV ratings would be higher then. He reportedly demoted one of his four longest-serving political aides because he blamed the man for the size of his crowd at his rally in Phoenix. You saw his statements about Charlottesville. In those, he displayed the stability of a Kardashian family ex-husband. And in the last two years, you've seen what? A hundred examples of him being not right? A thousand? More? Not right. Unstable. Unhinged. Unsound. Unglued, unbalanced, unbelievable, odd, off, strange, weird, nonsensical, erratic, foolish, idiotic, implausible, raving, haywire, bizarre, absurd, ludicrous, half-baked, cockamamie, preposterous, deranged, demented, delirious, delusional, lunatic, screwy, touched, maniacal, monomaniacal, cracked, hallucinatory, out to lunch, out of his mind, paranoid, narcissistic, sociopathic, psychopathic, crazy, and we don't talk about it. We don't talk about it for two primary reasons. 
With the best of intentions, in 1973, the American Psychiatric Association established in its Principles of Medical Ethics, section number seven, which reads, on occasion, psychiatrists are asked for an opinion about an individual who is in the light of public attention or who has disclosed information about himself, herself through public media. In such circumstances, a psychiatrist may share with the public his or her expertise about psychiatric issues in general. However, it is unethical for a psychiatrist to offer a professional opinion unless he or she has conducted an examination and has been granted proper authorization for such a statement. That is the Goldwater Rule, instituted because, after the Republican presidential nominee of 1964, Barry Goldwater postulated some scenarios in which he would use nuclear weapons two years after the Cuban Missile Crisis, a lot of psychiatrists came out and said he was nuts. For 44 years, this has been considered a benchmark of professional restraint and medical dignity when, in fact, it was pretty much pure CYA, entirely predicated on Goldwater having sued the publisher of a magazine called Fact after it put out this issue claiming 1,189 different psychiatrists had said Goldwater was, quote, psychologically unfit to be president. Goldwater sued for libel. He got $75,000, which was a great deal of money then, and the Psychiatric Association suddenly had a new principle, which was, at best, part medical ethics and part, don't get your ass sued. Physical health? You can speculate about the physical health of a public figure, of a president or a would-be president, permanently. During the campaign last year, Trump said Hillary Clinton lacked mental and physical stamina, and Rudy Giuliani said you could tell she was sick just by going online. And Karl Rove, along with Fox and Friends, declared that her glasses were the kind worn only by people who had had traumatic brain injury. And Sean Hannity suggested she had a stroke and said she had a seizure and post-concussion syndrome and demanded her medical records. And Alex Jones' site claimed she had Parkinson's disease and was dying of blood clots. And the Daily Caller said she had a urinary tract infection. And John Bolton said she was faking it. But mental health, even if six out of 10 Americans in a Fox poll think he is unstable, and there is still no NBC nightly how unstable is he news, it's not being debated. And it's not being debated because of one of the great logical fallacies of our time, one that has been whispered and screamed at me for months. This is simply as follows. If you're not fully trained in psychology, if you don't have a medical degree, how dare you give an opinion that the president is crazy? It is an argument that mostly goes unanswered, and news presidents and show producers and commentators run from this argument in terror, all because they never stop to realize that if it is inappropriate for non-psychiatrists to publicly express the opinion that the president is psychologically unstable, then it is necessarily and absolutely just as inappropriate for non-psychiatrists to publicly express the opinion that the president is not psychologically unstable. Even if I've consulted a dozen of professionals and applied some of the very tests that they use, I can't say he's nuts. But anybody else can say, no, of course he's not nuts. To hell with that. The American people have spoken. How well do you think the word unstable describes Donald Trump? 33% unstable describes him extremely well. 11% unstable describes him very well. 16% unstable describes him somewhat well. 60% unstable describes him well. America has spoken. He's unstable. It is time for the American political media to do the same. Resist. Remove peace. Oh, and not completely coincidentally, the book of these commentaries, Trump is effing crazy. This book of mine comes out October 17th. You can pre-order it now or not, or just wait for the premiere of NBC Nightly, How Unstable Is He News or something.